That was the most <laughs> disturbing thing I've ever seen in my life. The Willies. Hello, I'm Justin. Welcome to EJ's Movie Talk. Aaron is behind the camera. We just watched Willies, which was a 1990, uh, I guess, kids horror movie. On the Dead of Night, a backyard camping trip. Three young boys, each with a tail. Although maybe teenage horror movie, I'm not really sure how that worked. PG-13. It was PG-13, so I guess it wasn't made for little kids, which uh, is very uh, smart of them to do because it would have traumatized any child. <laughs> now they're in Gordy's room. Um, if anybody below the age of 13 is planning on watching that, they will have nightmares for weeks. In fact, I had nightmares about flies. That's all I'm gonna say. Gordy didn't know how good. Me and you guys are gonna have some fun. Uh, it starts off very disgusting and dark. I believe a woman eats like a rat as fried chicken and uh, then another old woman cooks her dog in the microwave in which it explodes on the old woman, which is literally disgusting. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, uh, traumatizing. Um, I remember Erin saying that this is one of the more disturbing things she's seen in a movie and I've shown her some very disturbing movies so that just goes to show it is a very uh, gross out type of movie. Uh, then there is a short story about uh, bullies who uh, pick on this nerdy kid. No one believed Danny, at least not at first. Monster indeed! Uh, and the janitor comes to help him. Uh, by turning into a monster. And Dean. <laughs> killing the bullies uh, and his teacher, who all who all seem to be very annoying characters in this short little story. That one was okay, like it wasn't too crazy, but I did like the fact that they're just straight up killing teachers and children in a boys' room for a movie made for, I guess, young teens. Are you staring at? crazy gory but there's definitely some blood splatter there's like dead bodies and then we move on to one of the more disturbing of the two stories it's not even like it goes past goosebumps or are you afraid of the dark or any like horror show made for kids this one surpasses it by miles it's obsessed with like it doesn't even really make sense he's obsessed with killing catching flies torturing them but he had a special hobby Sick kid you raised, my little To Gordy, a fly is a boy's best friend. He pulls their wings off. If they die, he puts them in a diorama. If they live, he throws them in like a little glass case with sugar things for them to crawl around without. And that's really it. It doesn't really say why he's obsessed with flies. Do you remember them saying anything about No, it was just a weird with? hobby that like went too far and his parents were Yeah, it's concerned. just like when you're like a young kid and you're obsessed with weird things and you... Kind of gets out of control because I guess you're little and you don't really realize how weird it is. I mean, he's, a, he's an awful kid. They don't do this kid any favors. I, I don't think anybody's supposed to like this kid. In fact, by the end of it, you hate him. I think one of the he more- He fed a girl fly cookie. Any of you guys want a cookie? Uh, no thanks. Yeah, so that was definitely probably the most disturbing part of the whole story, which I think another part he like has a nightmare where he's like doing his, uh, Inhaler. Inhaler, and it's like maggots in it, and then there's like uh, larvae all in his bed. Which... <laughs> now they're in. Later, when his dad yells at him for being such a weird loser, <laughs> you think he's gonna turn the page and go on and try to be friends and friendly, so he sits at the popular girl's table, and he actually comes off really sincere, and he's like, it's like, hey, I know everybody hates me because I'm mean and I'm gross and whatever. And like, we, I bought it. I thought he was really trying to be nice and blend back in and make some friends. But he ends up giving them cookies. He's like, you want to try these cookies? I made them myself. And the cookies have flat, like this, like covered in flat, like it's disgusting. The girl doesn't notice and she eats like half of the cookie and then notices and like equally we are both traumatized. Just gross, I was completely grossed out. I was like, this kid has literally gone too far. In fact, the ending is even more disturbing. In fact, if you wanna watch this, pause now or stop now and come back. But like at the end, they rip the kid's arms off, don't they? 
Yeah, the flies um, grow because he's <laughs> awful to everybody and like messed with an old man who had a growing formula. And yes, so I didn't add the old man because there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot to the plot. He's just an awful kid who it came to bite him story. in the end. Like, whoever wrote this, I want to see what else they've written because, like, honestly, it's, it gets like disturbing on multiple levels. But he breaks into like an old man who's got this really nice fertilizer. What's that? See, I mixed this up special just for you. So whatever you're using it for, it'll work extra good now. But go steals it, the guy shoots a gun at him at one point, and then they have a relationship. But yeah, at the end, his arms get ripped off, and I believe his parents get murdered. Do I don't think his parents get murdered. Uh, okay, do you remember what happened to him? Well, he was holding, <laughs> like... So his parents come in, and he has no arms, and the flies are just <coughs> holding his arms. And the parents are like, what happened? He's like, I don't know. And then they cut to a scene of him just at the end trying to like swat flies off of his face but he has no arm so he just has these little like screws at the end of his arm basically he has like, fake arms yeah he has fake arms or like no fake hands even so he's just like laying there so i don't know what happened to his parents but the flies only seemed to want to mess with him because he's the one who was ripping off their wings so they ripped off his arm yeah like, it's yeah it's definitely justice and the for... old man was outside like he 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 like he was laughing he was into it oh yeah he definitely set this up i want to say that uh the the parents dying or not dying is ambiguous i don't think they really tell us because i don't no. remember seeing him again but i do think the parents walk in and the giant flies are behind the door therefore yeah. making some people be like did the flies kill the parents and i want to say the parents are pretty innocent the dad's kind of an asshole but sick like, kid you raised mom i would be too if my kid was this weird the mom is a, uh, an angel she's yeah. super sweet she's like she goes she bends over backwards for uh gordy uh the weird uh fly obsessed kid and in the end uh he doesn't learn a, he doesn't learn a damn thing i think this whole willies thing the, the message is he, for bad bad kids will get killed or tortured I think. it'll come to have consequences <laughs> in the end if you just go around being a piece of crap to everybody so as disturbing as this kids movie is uh maybe it is a good message for younger teens that like if you're a piece of crap eventually a monster will come and kill you and rip your arms off or, and leave you alive with like the, the last I'm not can you the last scene is like him with f fake arms because his arms were and he's sitting in a hammock or something. Yeah. <laughs> Frightfully funny. <laughs> Tales of terror guaranteed to give you the willies. He it's like can't disturbing. even move. <laughs> It's a very dark movie, which is why we wanted to do this review as our first review, by the way, because we were sh we were shooketh when we watched this movie, and we think other people that like that sort of thing can watch it. So, Aaron, what was your score? Six point four five. Okay, you're going point four five. Okay, so, <laughs> so that's six point five. Six point five. We'll do points. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go with eight. Just an eight. It's definitely, I mean, it's definitely like a campy 80s horror movie. I mean, it's clearly not like a artful masterpiece or anything, but it's disturbing. And it's like really cool stories. I will say the fly one was much more crazier than the first one, but both of them were pretty dark. And then the beginning is very dark. So yeah, I'm going to give it an eight just because it, I was shocked. I was, I'm used to watching really bad movies. It was on 2B TV, by the way. So. 6.5 because I don't want to rank it too high, but it was pretty. I'm ranking decent. it really high, but I just feel like we've watched a lot of things on Tubi, which we'll talk about here in the future. That I just they they're very average and not that great. But this one was kind of like we put it on and like almost immediately we're kind of shook. So I'm giving it a higher rating for now. Uh, please tell us what you think in the comments. This is our first video. Thank you. Uh, that's that's Tales of Terror, guaranteed to give you the willies.